oh. same product. They are not even sure if they are original anymore. Now that's they are not sure. Not really, are you not sure that right it's eh? somebody says really sure company it's goes, company comes. Like, are you serious? You, you know, he's talking as if he's in a company. I mean, if if Americans say go, companies go, companies come, I can understand where they're coming from. They have options. Right, you can't be telling me that companies come, company goes in a country like Nigeria where the options are limited. And not only are you talking about companies that are coming and company, company going, we're also talking about the livelihood of people. Do you understand? So, people have built careers around these companies, and all of a sudden, all that is gone. And you're sitting down there comfortably and telling us companies go, company come, wealth you receive millions. Not thousands, or millions in in uh, in trumped up different um, what they call it um, compensations mm -hmm. in addition to your and your now. astronomical salary already. Sometimes those people, I, let me tell you something. The best thing for Nigeria is that if you can gather all of these people and bomb them, bomb them, let them not even be alive, even generations after them, so that none of their people can come. Because I I think that that their mentality is persistent within their genes. It is genetic. It's not just you know like oh they just come in there and you know all of a sudden we are bad. Like something is wrong genetically with those people. Then wow. the person I talked about, I wanted to say something about the national anthem, just to, to buttress the point that you're making about people who love their oppressors. I happened upon a, v, uh, 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 a YouTube channel that showed that stupid national anthem, and you have people in their 70s, in their 80s, all writing, oh my goodness, this is the, this is the national anthem we grew up with, all oh, things are so lovely. In my mind, I said, look at these people. Uh -huh. Look at them. Look at all these people. You were, you were a slave. You did not know. And now you are, you are romanticizing, you know, national anthem and how life was. So when you were a slave, and that's the problem that we have, is that those people in that generation, they didn't even know that they were slaves. They're romanticizing the, that period when you were slaves, when you did not even have any autonomy, when you did not have a future. When, and that when, when you are being segregated in your, own, in your own supposed uh, country. Because that's I mean, exactly what happened, though. Blacks were segregated in their own okay. continents. Listen, if, yeah, you, if you don't if you want to know how segregated you were, look at the video of that Nigeria we held in. 99.9% .9 of the people who were singing it, if they were really singing it, were white. Yes, they and were they colonial, were, colonial uh, uh, staff. Uh, colonial staff, and um, I saw one stray black person in there, which I'm sure was might not even have been a Nigerian. Hmm. And you're romanticizing that when you should be fighting for your own identity, fighting for your own country, fighting for your own autonomy, and saying, let us move forward with something that actually belongs to us. No, these people are not ready to do that. We have a big problem in front of us, and I don't know if just a, a, a revolution or just removing the current government is going to stop that because we need to change hearts and minds. People are seriously, you understand I, what I'm saying? I do. Thank you so much, uh, Charm. You do better Thank very early in the morning you. these days than uh, you are interested in the in the uh, evening time. I'm, no, no, no. I'm interested in the evening, but you know what in the evening. I have you all my people around. In the evening, so it's because you're so busy. <laughs> It's so busy. It's it so, so busy. busy. Okay. Well, you are doing well uh, on this uh, segment, okay? Hopefully, it will not become too busy that uh, you become scarce, all right? So thank <laughs> I you. I will try my best. Thank you, my uncle. You have a good one, man, okay? That's a uh, uh, charm, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I do have another caller on the line. Let's take that. Hello there. Hello, dear Baba. 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 Come on, this idea. Okay, Baba. Good afternoon. Nice one. Good afternoon to all the members of the Great Temple of Truth this wonderful afternoon. Same thing, Thank you Baba. very much for your contribution. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please hit the like button and Fantastic, let's man. hear this wonderful message. This message of liberation and self-awareness to the undoings and the mesmerizing ways of APC Egbe Egbe and the Abracada, the unending magic, the unending, in fact, I don't know, conjuring. <laughs> it's pretty much con job, Baba. It's all con job. Have you heard the news, Baba? Martinelli? Uh, Have yeah, you heard this I latest saw, news? 
I saw Shin Wokimba Loye. He was asking, he was asking Wale Idun mm -hmm. about Tinubu's policy. I don't know, was she was sleeping when know, Tinubu can, said he was going to be very, low. very uh, cunning too? Why, why is he asking stupid questions? Where was he when Tinubu said he was going to slow down the economy? Because he was asking about Tinubu's policy on the economy, but Tinubu said he was going to slow down the. Why are people asking these questions, Mayegun? You know, these, these are the kind of things that get people like me up there. Hmm. You know, like, why are you asking? Tinubu already told you what he's going to do, and he's done just that. So why are you asking stupid questions? You understand? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, but anyways, they're talking about you know minimum wage and no minimum wage. And we've yeah, been on this so matter for how, how how long have we been on this minimum wage matter, ladies and gentlemen? Like forever. Like, so when are you going to realize that nothing is going to happen? Because in the middle of all this, like these guys cannot increase minimum wage, yeah. but over the last I don't know eight years the wages of different political office holders have been increased year after like year after year. Percent. Year after year, in the last eight years, and yet the minimum wage cannot be paid. No. So paying minimum wage is going to destroy the economy, but increasing the wages of the court judges, increasing the wages of senators, giving them more allowances, you know, paying for hajj, and all those nonsense spending that is not going to destroy the economy but increasing minimum wage is going to increase i don't know ladies and gentlemen nlc cannot do anything the earlier you realize that nlc is also a an arm of the government the better hmm. and you know i really appreciate what you know my wonderful sister said and i'm i'm quite happy that we've all been here together and we've sort of been able to bring ourselves to that realization that nigeria cannot go forward like this it cannot and just breaking up the country is not even going to change much but the most important thing is this realization that this current arrangement cannot continue so we can try remember? something. We can try something different, and nobody should worry about whether that's going to work or not. We have one that is not working. You are trying to make us make it work. We know it won't. So instead of wasting our lives and then uh, getting the same result, why not try something new? That's why we will continue to advocate for self-rule, autonomous uh, regions, and breaking up of this contraption. Martinelli, we must e remind e them exactly, exactly, and. Baba for people to come to that realization because i remember a couple of days ago you said something about your about your your transition from nigeria to the uk mm -hmm. and you spoke about you standing on the balcony and looking out you know like just to the, like, taking a look at my life i'm like oh um, uh, ah. my ego oh, when you you know like I baba eh? baba when you said that story when you were standing on that balcony how many of you were there just me exactly my ego you were by yourself and then I like, so ah. baba mm -hmm. until the people sit down and come to that self-realization like this is not something that you have to sit down you do with somebody not need anybody to no, encourage no, you no, anybody no, to talk no, to you and all of no, that you would have no. to come to that realization yourself yeah god bless you you wow. will have to sit down with yourself and come to the realization that ah, you see this APC, they cannot do anything for me. You see this Nigeria, it cannot do anything for I me. We have to break. We have to break it up. And until everybody, I mean the two hundred million cows, the two hundred million mugus mm -hmm. in that contraption called Nigeria, until everybody come to that realization, ladies and gentlemen. We are going nowhere. So we can you know you can play around in the circle and all can, of that, you know, grammars you, and all of that. You can stuff. keep blaming my ego, you can keep blaming my ego for coming here to scare you because he's telling you how messed up the economy is mm -hmm. and how irredeemable Nigeria is. You can keep blaming one true emperor for laughing, you can keep blaming, you can blame anybody, but until you come to that realization that 
this current arrangement cannot continue to exist. It must We're not continue, by the way, for the sake of our own uh, existence. Um, Baba, if we don't kill this uh, contraption and the criminals in charge, who are the weapons fashioned against us, Martinelli, ego kill us. Ego kill us. There is no two way about us, it. You know? Ego kill us, Baba. The question Unless is going to be, the question there will be, when is he going to kill us? Anytime. If we don't stop them, and they will kill us. They will kill us. And just, and just one more thing. Like I so, always say, this this religion thing i know a lot of people try to underestimate it because in one way or the other we all you know we are all involved in religion in the practice of religion but until we also come to that realization that this religion of a thing also plays a very very huge role in trying to keep the people docile in reacting to their existence to their current existence until we come to the realization that religion also plays a very, very, very major role in keeping the people yeah, docile. It does. It does. We are going nowhere. So I know we always we always try to shy away from some topics. We don't try to talk too much about it, but I know you know that is our reality. This is a safe zone. That's why that's what, that is why I love this platform too, Martinelli. Right? This is a safe zone whereby. If you have if people, when people have uh, this uh, fear of this, fear of that, or what people will say, and they can't really say what they want to say because some people will be like that. But when they come onto my egos, they are political. You should be comfortable. All right. But I mean, you say, you all of us are, you know, they say, that thou shalt not touch my anointed. And do my prophet do uh, uh, they oh, yeah. children Yo. of God. Listen, though. they say that don't talk about that man of God like that. I say, man of God is employed by God. Children of God are supposed to be children of God. So, how dare you I would think my own father, God, will punish me because I said something about his man? So, as you see how the confusion is, right? Come on to my ego's exactly. diary, political. Nobody will religiously manipulate you anymore, except because nobody can even deceive you, Martinelli. Nobody can manipulate you without your consent you know that no you have to allow them no. you have to accept eh, before you are allowed to be before you are manipulated so on this platform we ensure to we are we actually try our best to help people not to make themselves vulnerable to be manipulated what do you think yeah i mean when you talk about something like religion people talk about fasting and prayer for yeah the economy to move forward and i'm thinking to myself like how long are people going to continue to fast and all these countries that are making progress this continue these countries that we 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 try to run to we escape to is it fasting and prayer that those people prayed to move the economy forward absolutely not because i don't understand the people that tell you to fast look at them hmm. all these pastors all this imam how many of them can you honestly say that they represent God with the way they behave, with their actions, collecting people's tithes, manipulating people to give up their, you know, their their wealth their and everything? And all the stuff. Their, I mean, using people and still yet you go try to ex for those who try to expose these people. People come to their defense, and I'm, I just wonder how are how are you how are we going to save people? How how are we going to how are people going to read? How, when will people you come to that realization? Everyone that want to be saved, Martinelli, you can only wake somebody who is sleeping. Remember, you cannot wake someone pretending to be sleeping. So I kind of our job is to help people to understand to be able to differentiate between. Those who are sleeping and wanted to be, uh, to, you know, to be woken up, and those who are pretending to be sleeping, that we shouldn't dissipate our energy trying to wake them up because they are not stupid. They know what they are doing. So by by that, I mean we have to help ourselves because there are those who want to be saved, Martinelli, and there are those who don't want to be saved. Your our job is to be able to identify those that want to be saved and team up with them.
those are the people we want to talk to all the time here anyway don't you think that's what i mean i i would hope so and i'm, I'm, I'm so just always that so because you cannot save people who, can, who don't want to be saved i mean Remember i'm just i'm wondering mm -hmm. i'm wondering abakiari god bail um what do me god bail mm -hmm. but now the kanu is in detention like and people make it make sense so I'm, 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 everybody just everybody's just sat down there just you know they just, said they are going to do on. postal road they destroyed businesses worth billions of dollars and everybody is just sitting down there they say they are going to pay the minimum wage they are not going to pay me and everybody's just i'm i'm just wondering when exactly are people going to rise up when are people going to rise up but like i always say here ladies and gentlemen when you're ready when they are you know ready. the number to call well, that should answer but that until answer. then mm -hmm. stop pretending that you don't know what you are doing we know you know what you are doing we all know what we are doing we do thank you so much I, thank you very 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 Baba. much for all you do i really appreciate you God Stay bless you too. and you too man thank you very much so that's uh, martinelli ladies and gentlemen and he's uh <laughs> A, a Voltron, when you go on YouTube, uh, onto the Temple of Truth uh, on YouTube, right? You will see Martinelli, you will see One True Emperor, you will see all these uh, juggernauts there. I hope I would experience what uh, your comment, the comment session actually feels like. Because I do see some of them, I'm like, uh, you know, that's over a thousand comments within a short period of uh, one hour. What are you guys talking about? Anyway, Sha. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I am going to leave the studio now quickly. Aki has a swimming lesson today. I don't know if I should tell you. He has a swimming lesson, and I need to kind of be around to get him, okay? Also, it's also a chance for me to uh, go get ready for later in the evening. So thank you so much, everyone, for being part of this this afternoon. Uh, if you joined us at Midway, please watch this from the start. And if you have been with me all morning, like the broadcast as you leave. There's going to be a replay from last night. Last night's broad, I mean, broadcast will pop up in the next uh, few minutes. That will be the replay. Then I will return back later this evening. Uh, hopefully, you're going to be here. Right? Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I will see you later. Good afternoon.
glory you too. I am good today. I yes, we like you. I am good today. Baba, baba, they will let. I am good today. I yes, we like you. I am good today. DJ, you got the head. I am good today. I yes, we like you. I am good today. We press the door by roof. I am good today. I yes, we like you. Oh, my God, you're only one in a row. 